Nothing better than a great run down the freeway. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. Could you believe that guy? Bumper to bumper traffic, man. What's going on? You didn't even ride today or what? Uh, you know, I got a ride in today. Uh, I got my stuff. We're going to get on the, we're taking the bikes back to uh, the Harley Media Trade so, Center. So, I'm just wondering, I got my bike out here. Galen's going to ride his bike. Let's just wait till Galen pulls up and we'll figure out what's going on here. What a day we got ahead of us, I'll tell you that. Good morning! So, <laughs> tell me this, the people are wondering, we're riding those bikes to a place to drop off bikes not these bikes and then hopping on some other bikes to do what we're gonna have a good time we're gonna head out to joshua tree pioneer town it's an old town got a history on that thing some guys back in the old cowboy days wanted to reinvent a, an 1800s type town so we're gonna show you that i was a little late i had some kids yelling on the bus i had to get rid of them <laughs> well so so the thing is this Personal bikes, we rode to here. We have media bikes that we've been riding for like a couple weeks now, but we're gonna drop those off and then we're gonna head over to Eagle Rider and pick up Eagle Rider bikes. That's the vibe. There you have it. What's going on? So, so, you know, a lot of planning goes into these trips and you have to really lay it out and then you can free flow. We'll you spin around here. I'll show you what we got going. Yeah, check this out. So here's the map, right? We had to make some changes. Unfortunately, we've got it, some highway time we're gonna have to put in, but this is gonna be the meat of it. And then we kind of look up history through Calico, California. That's gonna be one of our stops, Pioneer Town. We're gonna try to find some people in Pioneer Town to talk about the history of the town. It's kind of got a cool vibe to it. Uh, we're gonna eat at Pappy and Harriet. So we look at this stuff and try to call people and, and hopefully get guests to talk about their towns. Well, we're late, so should we hit the road? Yeah, but we've never been to Pioneer Town or Calico, and we've been residents of California forever, so <laughs> let's go do it. Man. So we're one step closer to hitting the road. Nothing better than a great run down the freeway. <laughs> I don't know who you think you are, but I, I gotta tell you, step one, complete. We got the bikes here. Step two, we're headed to happening Eagle soon. How was that concert on the way here? I, could you believe that guy? <laughs> I mean, like, turn it down just a little bit, but. I mean, it was actually gnarly because it was cranked like to the highest, and you couldn't you couldn't have a conversation. You're just like in the car. So, so just you know, shout out to the Uber driver. Where are we at? What's going on here? Got a couple of the bikes here. Uh, Road Glide Ultra Limiteds. Where are we uh, at? And I, we are in El Segundo at the Eagle Rider Shop, LAX uh, division. So, I think you got the silver buggy today. Oh yeah. You know, these bikes are awesome. We got some windshields, we got some lowers. We're, we're ready to go for some comfort riding here in Ultra style. Limited. Yes, sir. Right on. Well, we finally made it down to Eagle Rider. It's been a long morning, but we're here. What's up? There's a lot of riding that you can do in Southern California. We're gonna show you a trip today that's gonna take us to Joshua Tree and then down to Pioneer Town. Ultimately hit Calico tomorrow. Can't wait. Sounds like a fun adventure. So guess what? We have Sean Fetcher here. He was on our live a couple months or maybe a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. We were talking about Eagle Rider and the partnership we have. And tell us a little bit about that and the new things that you have coming down the line. Yeah, it's been great. And what a nice surprise to walk downstairs this morning and see you two characters <laughs> outside. It'd be nice if I was kept in the loop by our people here. But what a great surprise on a Friday morning. We're so excited to be working with you guys in Two Lane Life and just the opportunities that have come for all of us, the, the ability for you guys to get out and have access to bikes and immediately be able to jump on some of the top motorcycle roads in the country and for us to be able to tap into your ever-expanding fan base of great riders and motorcycle enthusiasts around the country has just been awesome. You know, this is the best time of year and I think there's so many people, unless you live in 
Southern California or the Southwest or Florida or you know anywhere in that Sun Belt, I always think about those people that are sitting in Michigan or Wisconsin or <laughs> Minnesota or somewhere like that right now where there's six feet of snow on the ground and their bikes are hooked up, hooked up to battery tenders in the garage. And, right. and that ability to be able to jump on a plane on a Thursday or Friday, fly to Orlando or Miami or LA or New Orleans and jump on a bike and ride in a t-shirt in the middle of the winter for a couple of days. What and an adventure. Oh, what an adventure. So let's talk about the new adventure you got. What's happening here? Speaking of. If you can. Absolutely, I would love to. <laughs> we have a new venture though for people that either have a motorcycle license that are on a ride through Vegas or that want to try something different or for people that don't have a motorcycle license. We are actually just launching this month out of Las Vegas, Eagle Rider Off-Road Adventures. And it's not on two wheels. These are four wheel adventures. Yamaha, two seater, Polaris, Razor, 1000, four seats, like the coolest vehicles you can find. You jump on our horse, follow one of our guides. It's a two hour trip, high speed, high adrenaline, tons of fun, great affordable price. And one of the cool things with what we're doing out there for off-road is in true Eagle Rider style, we like to elevate the experience. Our full face helmets included, they have the fresh air return. So on those hot Las Vegas desert days, You've got a steady flow of cool air pumping through your nice, helmet. Nice, nice. Driver to driver to driver communication, so you're able to laugh and crack up and have fun. If you've been in a side by side, you know how loud they are. Yeah. yeah. But you're able to communicate through your helmet with everybody in your car, as well as the guide up front. So sounds great. And hey, man, thanks for the hospitality. Yeah. We're gonna get uh, hitting the road here. Can't wait to get out to Joshua Tree and show people that Pioneer Town's really cool. So. We're going to hit the road. And I'm going to head back to my office and work for another six or seven hours. So <laughs> thanks for Good rubbing it in. Sean. Great seeing you. you guys. Always a pleasure. Don't forget TwoLaneLife.com, and we're going to see you guys down the road. Freeway traffic today was just a pain in the ass, but finally we got off here. We're in the Morongo Valley. We're at the Sand of Snow Bar and Grill. We need to get us a burger and a beer and get out of here. How was that? Jesus. I thought that was your finger. That was the uh, thing in my ear. Yeah. How was that freeway we at? Uh, you know, uh, crazy. There's a lot of traffic and a lot of uh, lane splitting, and it gets like tiring after a while when you don't have your handlebar set up, but hey, we do it. We have fun talking to each other and, and making jokes. And oh, I gotta turn this around. It's tracking my face. And we have fun doing what? <laughs> uh, we have fun talking and telling jokes and just riding. And we're finally here. We get to quench our thirst, have a burger, and relax. And then we're almost there. What did we learn in there? If you ever go to Costco and get the samples, we just had a cheeseburger, an Angus cheeseburger that I know was cooked in the microwave. An Angus? An Angus cheeseburger that I know was cooked in the microwave. Oh, man, I mean, really? Yes. Like, just now, it yes. was, he didn't... We had no bun, we had no sides, we just had the burger, and it was totally... Rubber? It was cooked in the microwave. Damn. So what are we doing? What's the plan? I well, hope we get some good riding in right now. We get the rest of the day where we ride and go see some cool stuff. We're about 40 minutes outside of uh, 29 Palms, and then we're going to run into Joshua Tree, spend two or three hours in there, see what we can get. May have to go back in the morning, may not, but then we'll run into Pioneer Town and spend the rest of the evening there. Didn't we ride through Joshua Tree before? So I was going to say that. Didn't we see the skull? You and I went through there and down to Brawley. Ah, that was yes. that, but we weren't filming at that time. So this is new, gotcha. I believe. Do we have a Joshua Tree episode? I don't think we do. So, all right, we're going to go check out some cool stuff there. That's right, let's do it. Hey, what's happening? We're at the uh, entrance here into Joshua Tree, so we're gonna take a little 
maybe two hours in here, have some good times. Maybe we'll catch a sunset. I don't know. I'm excited. I mean, we were, you know, splitting lanes, bumper to bumper of traffic, and now we're at the entrance of the park and bumper to bumper traffic, man. And I was hoping there's some water in there, but there's not. There's a little grass growing, so I'm like, oh, maybe there's a little moisture. Pretty cool. Well, we finally made it to Joshua Tree. Lance and I came through here probably seven years ago. We were just out exploring, went down into Brawley, the Salton Sea. But we haven't been here since we had the channel, and, and it's a widely searched uh, area. You can climb, you can hike. Josh is telling us there's some great places to see the sunset, so we may catch that tonight. But, you know, desert floor, all these rocks, just incredible, beautiful views. Well, all these rocks were covered in dirt, and then water came in and formed the round, elongated boulders. There's one rock called Giant Rock. It's 5,800 square feet. It's seven stories tall and considered the biggest freestanding boulder in the world and the Native American Indians consider it a sacred piece of land. So the Joshua tree is commonly known as the yucca or the yucca. And I know we'll get people saying that that's wrong, but I hear it was deemed the Joshua tree by the Mormon uh, settlers that were coming through. And they would use it as guide points because the Joshua tree has these different tentacles and they could count out the different arms that they have and the shape of the tree, and they could send that back and people use that as their guide points to get across the desert. So just a lot of history. The Native Americans were here for thousands of years prior. Um, you know, I love the pines and I love lakes, but there's a reverent beauty about being out in the desert and seeing these trees and the incredible rock structures. and. So, you know, California, Southern California has a lot to offer, man. Well, it's amazing here too, because it's so quiet and calm. Like there's no wind right now. And it's just, there are people cruising around. It's a pretty cool, open, rocky. I mean, the boulders are round and it just looks like a pile of round rocks on a mountain. I mean, it's-, it's Well, they are round, but there's it's amazing. also- Those are know, the elongated some different ones, ones yeah. but I, I think it also was really the volcanic push that that made these rock structures happen. So, um, look, we're gonna hang out in the park for a little bit, um, head down into uh, Pioneer Town a little later, but I think we can show them some more stuff as we get, get through the park here. What do you think? I think we can. Let's check it out. Let's do it. dirt riding these uh, beautiful motorcycles. They're not Pan Americas, but this road is uh, very doable on these bikes. What do you think there, buddy? Watch the washboard. I mean, it can get a little sketchy here. The whole bike's bumping up and down, but what a beautiful time of night. You know, we're hitting that twilight hour. We'll go try and watch the sunset and uh, work our way back to Pioneer Town. Hey, eh, Josh? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been cool. We just kind of saw this dirt road and figured, hey, why don't we just check it out, see what's down here. <laughs> Some of the washboard section is less than <laughs> ideal, but, yeah, overall, it's a pretty smooth road. Hey, let's uh, get back out on the highway oh. and go keep exploring. Front end yeah, washed out a little it. bit. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. See you down the road. See you. What are we checking out? Looks like we have some uh, Harley guys showing up here. This is Skull Rock. We're going to go check it out and take a couple of videos. It's going to be nice. That doesn't look like a skull. My dog's trying to tell me this is a skull. Well, when I asked him 
Why do they call it Skull Rock? So, well, it looks like a skull. <laughs> okay. Who would have guessed? It says Skull Rock. Yeah, well, where's the skull at? Well, come over it is right, right there. But come there. there. What's really cool about this place is the, the way the rock shapes are. Let me get on the other side. You could create, like, anything you see could be your own vision of what you might want it to be. A dog, cat, animal, dinosaur, skull. I don't you're, know. You're just justifying. No. <laughs> I've just said you get creative. Your mind expands out here and you just find stuff. What I find interesting coming through the park is how many of these huge rocks have people up on top. <laughs> And right now, it's about an hour away from um, what sunset. We're not going to sit up here and watch it. We're going to get into town, but the twilight hour is starting to happen. The color on the rocks, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I guess a lot of people consider it a magical place. You know? So I'm going to look for a two-lane life rock since we can you, envision everything. You can find a two-lane yeah, life rock for it. sure. You get that same close-up picture. Oh, you want a picture? Okay. Pose, yeah. Look at these guys go. What are you telling your boy? Well, Galen just walked up here and he's checking out the texture on these rocks. I mean, they have lichen, a little bit of lichen here and there, but he, what'd you say about your pool? I'm just saying it looks like it'd be really soft. It, it is somewhat soft, but I have a couple granite boulders at my pool and it, they've turned into like this and you'll see it shed. It's really yeah, I mean, interesting. That's all this. Think about the weather and just cutting this stuff up. Again, these amazing shapes out here. I mean, this is like we're on another planet. I guess. So this is Tulane life. <laughs> I, I found it. You found it? Tulane life. about this you go online and you look at things you know when you're booking them and you're like pictures and man we roll in here we got the whole place to ourselves what a cool little spot <laughs> what are you doing in there just like uh, washing my hands and face this this place is really awesome and you end of the day we come here and there's this little cabin we didn't know what to expect but it's pretty fun I mean it's right in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road we have two bedrooms a couch for Josh yeah buddy <laughs> They even gave me a tambourine. Yes, but I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. <laughs> but we need to get over to um, Poppy and Harriet's. They're just jammed. They have a concert tonight. We're going to get in in 35 minutes, have a little steak. We'll show you that. So I was just saying, when uh, Lance and I started riding, we found these little places like this, and it is amazing to me that these places exist today. You've got all walks of life in here. In this particular area, you've got people of the arts, you've got chopper guys, you've got cowboys. I mean, it's just insane. And the guys that actually built this town intended for it to be an, a living 1800s town named after the Sons of the Pioneers, which is just amazing to me. And the real cool thing about this and what we do is you have this all over the country. Everywhere we travel, we find really unique gems like this. And that's why we hit the road. I mean, I'm digging it. Cheers, boys. The food is here. What do we got, G-Man? Well, we've got a, I've got a flat iron, medium rare. I think Josh, you got the tri-tip with some uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, and broccoli. I don't know, we got some wedge fries, some broccoli, mashed potatoes. What do you have, LC? I got the same exact flat iron as you did. So, uh, you know, we're gonna get in here and uh, get our bellies full. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So what's that? we get a discount? Ten percent because we're staying at the cabin next door. Ten percent could mean trouble. I can tell you that right now. Man, we're in for the night. What a great night! First time we've been in this town. I love it. Great dinner. Great steak. We went to the Red Dog Saloon. Had some drinks. We're in our little cabin here. Bikes are parked out in front. Tomorrow's going to be bitching. I would say Pappy and Harriet's was the, the <laughs> great thing tonight. Yeah. The sunset was incredible. And hey, look, we've got a lot more to go tomorrow. But tonight we're closing it. It's done, man. We will see you in the morning. SoCal Ride Series. You can do this all in a day or two. It's so easy. Come on. Get out and try it. Tomor Easy. Tomorrow we're going to check out a little bit of Pioneer Town. We're going to go to Calico Ghost Town, see what's going on there, probably hit some Route 66, and then home. Hey, Tambourine Timmy, what what <laughs> website should they check out? TuneLaneLife.com. Check what? it out. We got, what do cards, we got? merchandise, yeah. apparel, drag specialties, dealers. We got you. We're and the we'll guys. we'll see you <gasps> down the road. <laughs>